Hello there gang, DD Devere here, just playing a little bit of 3D RPG. So I thought I'd try to give a quick gameplay video for you guys and gals. So a quick glance for the options, the briefest of looks as you can see there's not a lot of them, but this is a Unity game so there is an exterior launch that lets you set a few extra graphic options as well as your resolution. Uh, controls but then not rewindable, unfortunately. And with that, you also get a little journal with some of the beasts you meet in game. Not sure why that's not in the game itself. <laughs> it is what it is. So what I should do is I should dive on in with a new game. And of course that will wipe out. You only have one save. So, uh, and it is auto saves as well. So here we are. Let's see what. Where am I? Who am I? How did I end up here, joined with the army of the undead in the realm of the underworld? What, what was my name? So this is also your character creator. I've actually never thought of trying what happens if you hit skip. I guess it'll just randomise it. Oh, that's right. My name is Devere. Now, what did I look like? And what was my profession? Well, looks roguish good. Something along those lines. Profession? <laughs> Can't tell you, I've got to kill you. <laughs> so, yes, it's a very basic character creator. You're a chap or a chap S, or a non chap, as we sometimes refer to them. Dark or pale. That's probably closest to reality. Eye colour. Oh, good, good. Uh, hmm. It's quite uh, I'm definitely not orange. <laughs> Certainly pink, no. No, pink's not my colour, I'm afraid. Ah, that's better. My clothes are fine. Profession. Warrior. A hunter. A fisher. A trainer. Oh, rating are good. Yeah, I'm not sure what half these stats mean, as you'll see why when we get in game and what they have. Uh, learns combos from Mentor two times faster. Oh, an adventurer. Rerolls ambush dice. Be the chance of a special event. Harps food cost for moving on world map. Hmm, okay. Weapon, dagger. A sword. A spear. Oh, I think it's choice. Depending on the air, of course, it's class specific. Well, I'll take the Spear of Destiny, which gives me a rating that's low. Ha! Now it all comes back to me. Oh, how exciting! A soul came back to life. And who are you, little foe? I am Devere. Now get me the hell out of here. I want to live and be free again. To be free again. Mwahahaha! <laughs> Devere, huh? Well, I am Bazaar, Lord of the Underworld. Ha <laughs> ha Nice to meet you. Oh, I'll stop all that now. I'll be here all day. And I'll tell you what I like, Spirit. Let's make a deal. I'll let you live again if you complete an objective. What do you say? Mwah, mwah, mwah. So you've got a choice of choosing what your end game is. To seek revenge on a killer. Uh, trade yourself for someone else's. And uh, reach level 40. Well, come on, they, they should have had reached level 42 for that. What an obvious missed, obvious missed reference. Uh, become rich. 100,000 gold, clear 30 mines, defeat the Leviathan, become a master chef, or become a master blacksmith. Hmm. Well, uh, defeat the strongest enemy, locked. Let's see. Game game plus. I'll just go for the Seek Revenge on Killer. Okay, complete this objective and let you live. Now off you go, and good luck, kid. Mwahaha. So we just basically need to hunt down the killer, asking directions at different towns till we find them, and defeat them in honourable combat. So, of course, the first thing is that the maps are randomised every time you start. So we could visit a town. We don't really have a... Lot to our name at the moment, I'm going to guess. So, 
and this is the overworld map. You basically pick a direction. It tells you it will cost us one food, but we've got 10 of 20. We only need to be level one in there. So we have two choices. We can hunt for food or search for treasure. So let's do the food hunting first. So we have a bow, a fishing rod, and just our eyes. So click the bow in first person mode, which is a right click. We can start collecting food. The maximum of 20 at the moment. If there's anywhere to go fishing. Some areas you can go do the, use the fishing rod, some you can't. Oh, come on, that was a clear shot. Oh, he, he turned it last second there. That was not my... Couldn't allow for that random movement. The fishing's not exactly the hardest thing to get the hang of either, so it's... <laughs> right. Oh, we've got 11. So now that we've cooked everything, we leave our first person view again and press R. Ah, we can cook. Result. 11 food cooked, 22 cooking experience, cooking proficiency plus 2. I should have accepted the MasterChef task. We'd probably have to complete the game in half an hour. <laughs> so with that done, let's... Uh, Let's leave this place. I've told them out to get your carrot, but luckily you can just use the hotkeys. Oh, let's see what we've got in the way of gear at the moment. So I can't use helmets. There's all my hit points, etc, etc. I haven't learned any combos. I haven't ranked anything as a killer. Obviously, obvious reasons are at the beginning. We don't have a party at the moment, it's just me. One nice little thing as well, especially once you've collected lots of gear or bought lots of stuff, you can just click that best button and it'll select the best stuff out of what you've got and then you just sit there going through loads of junk. That, that's quite useful. Uh, so we've got 250 gold and 20 food. Oh, and it's crafting, but we probably won't be able to craft a great deal at the moment because uh, we haven't really found anything. So we'll look at that when we get a chance to. So let's just, let's just leave. Yes. So we've done the food, so now we can look for some treasures. So pretty much the same thing. We've just got one these treasure chests, and we've got one over there. One right on top of us. How many total? Six treasures in here. It's always dependent. We'll see the, uh, we'll see the combat in just a moment. Where is that other one? You might be noticing those grey amorphous blobs wandering around, or purple, I should say, don't know if they're grey for. Click this. Ooh, I can one, one wood, four life essences. Right. So yes, these little purple blobs are actually mobs. So, come on then. So it's randomised as to what you'll fight each time, but on this being level one, it's fairly low level stuff. So combat is turn based. As you see down at the bottom there, you can scroll through your options. You could run away, use a health potion or some such. Go on the defensive. As you'll see, you have your health and you've got stamina seven of seven. But for now, we shall attack like a man. Space. And then you have to kind of get it. Yeah, you, once it's on that. Once it's on that uh, little the two squares meet, as long as it's, so it's basically a big quick time event. Oh, nine gold, some wood and leather and life essence. One downside with the combat is sometimes you'll, even when you get things right, I'm assuming it's just like a critical miss sort of thing, you know, it doesn't make any contact. So you, you still don't get any damage to the enemy, but it doesn't really tell you as, if you missed or not, why you missed. It'd be nice if it did that. Small niggle, I suppose. So three treasures left. Uh -huh. ah, let's take the left-hand path. And it's visually you know, pleasing enough for what it is. But it's certainly not going to give Morrowind any run for, <laughs> runs for its money, I guess. In fairness... These treasure hunt maps are quite openish and big. 
Let's have a quick scan around. If we don't find it, we'll keep weaving. Otherwise, it won't be much of a, much of a gameplay video, just kind of looking at this. But of course, in typical RPG fashion, you probably really want to go around thrashing a lot of these little mob things. Just just for the XP and the, and the stuff they drop. I wonder if we can craft anything yet. So let's see. So yeah, a typical thing. Different weapon types and different quality types. But as you can see, no chance of crafting any of that gear. I think you're more of your helpful stamina potions. Oh, I've got five of five. There we go. A few more of those and I'll be a level one alchemist. So yeah, definitely not. You definitely wouldn't call this a deep game. But it's harmless enough and there's also random events when you're moving through the map as well as there's the mines to find and if you clear them, you own them. Hmm. Right. I think we'll get just down to that sort of roughly where the halfway mark where we started was. Oh, there we are. There's one. How did I not see that? Oh, and there's another one. Right. At least they don't, if they, they actually have to see you to actually attack you. And here we go again. All fair. Right, let's uh, just go for the thrust. And I was completely, I was just, something started slipping on my desk just then. <laughs> right, back to what we were doing. Now that time I actually did hit the space bar, but nothing happened. Might be time to try fleeing like a little girl. Hmm, or oh, we could take a health potion. Hopefully. Oh no, I'm going to have to go on the defensive anyway because I haven't got any stamina left. I've only got one of seven. Right. Ah, luckily he's also out of stamina. Right, let's have another crack at this. Oh really? See there, there's no feedback as to why I missed. Was it just me timing the, the quick time event wrong? Or was it just... Is it just missing, missing for the sake of it? Let's go run away. Any second now. Oh, not enough yet. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, probably gonna probably gonna run now because this isn't this isn't worth the flee. <laughs> yeah. It's a loss of experience. There's not really any penalty for running away like a little girl. So I'll take that. Go look at some pictures of kittens to get in touch with my feminine side after this. Alright, oh, so there's only one treasure left. Uh, so yeah, because if things randomly placed, you can get moments like that when you get loads of them close together. And other times they can be... And it also depends on, you know, you might be a couple of treasures here. Yeah, I we'll think we'll probably... Uh, Not to worry too much about finding it, in all honesty. I think I've got enough stuff to craft a, uh, a one of those potions. No, I don't. Hmm, get into more combat. How much stuff we've got? Gold, 347, 320. It's probably a good chance we're going to get something to come join the party, which may call this a bit easier. So let's. Yeah, let, let's bail on this. And return to town. So, of course, we want food to get there. Let's visit the town. So we're wandering around. Are these bods here? Let's see if anyone we can get them to join us. Uh, join my party. I'll join you if you're at least level one. Oh, well, there we go. That was nice and easy. They usually got a set of more demanding requirements than that before they'll join you. So I'm going to keep my eye open for. Ah, there's the weapon shop. Let's see. Buy. Uh, 119. Probably not. Oh, 23. What's. Cost 
cost, no, it'll cost 20. Armor 2, cost 23, 2.19. Uh, yeah, guess I'll have a couple of those. No point in this. Can't take it with you and all that. So, uh, what are they, 23? I'll have those and I'll have those. Ooh, worn leather armor. Sure, I'll have that. I can't wear, uh, I can't wear helmets. I don't know about my party member yet. No. Well, in that case, we'll go with that. So, let's see. Oh, I can wear all that. That's, that's good. What about my chum? My chum also good. Well, so I should have checked, I should have checked the stats, but, uh, because it's low, obviously it's low level. Oh, let's see, you can put the armor on. At this low level, of course, I can only have the one party member. I have to work on getting the, my skills up. So, I mean, it does all the traditional RPG things you expect. Where's the, ah, there's the little store to buy potions. There's all those RPG things near this chap here. Let's see, join my party. Oh, he would have just joined me. <laughs> so I'm going to try to see if he can fucking... Ah. <laughs> I think the game might have bugged or glitched or something and give me an extra party member. So I'd have to have at least 83 gold, which I've got. This is incredible. You don't normally get it as easy as this at first off the bat. Right, ask for directions. So I believe the person you're looking for is north of here. Well, let's just see what if we can get any a couple of potions. So the stamina potions are a bit pointless as you see the way the combat works out. Since you've got to put onto a defense mode anyway, which rebuilds your stamina. If you use a potion, because it's turn-based. <laughs> so unless you find them as, a, as part of treasure. Probably it becomes, as you, you know, as you get later stats, maybe there'll be more points to doing them. But I can't imagine why. Because you, you still have more st stamina pool in general. To keep fighting back with it. So health, but health, yeah, health is always useful. What is your health? Your health is 50. Yeah, I might as well just have at least one of those. What's your food now? I can go hunt that myself. So right, let's uh let's leave this let's leave this town. There's no point else, nothing else we can do here. Our party is growing. Let's go into the plane. So it depends certain different Every time you move, certain things can happen. We can look for a mine. Got plenty of food. Treasure will cost us two, so let's go for the mine. Oh, we found one. We've got to clear three mines. The first two should be... Well, the first will be low level. The last one will be a bit of a boss type. Right. We're going to pay for that. Demon... Ah, oh, Kafa. Katha. Right. So I don't know anything about his stats or his, not even his name. So. <laughs> oh, and he's got a dagger. That's useful. So to carry on clearing the mine. Yeah, let's have another crack. Why not? Uh, this looks a bit more challenging. Kind of glad I've got that armor now. Let's go for the stab. Oh, so far so good. We're absolutely owning. So the last save we've got since this here. So you, at this moment in time, you could always flag it and go in and out of the town a few times to so trigger a save. But we're not a cheap gamer like that. So let's go for the final. Final one. This is probably not going to go well because we haven't got hardly any here. <laughs> I don't know, so now at 12. It looked like it did a good chunk of damage to him, so now promising, promising. Oh, and most of our blows are landing so far. Oh, might be a, looks like we might be a one mine up at the end of the day. Then again, that happens. <laughs> right, Kafer. You're doing all right on the damage front. Oh, right, onto the, uh, onto the defensive. Reveal your stamina. Now I'm going to 
going to use an item, the health potion. Back on the oh, and yeah, of course I've got to got to have a bit of a rest myself. Right. Yep, that four damage has really helped the battle here. Oh, really? Go on. You can do that. <laughs> One shot wonder. What a swizz. I just checked how many health potions I had before I came into battle, shouldn't I, really? Oh no, no, then again, this is coming down to the wire. Alright, I'm going to have to rest anyway, so... On the defensive. Right, I'm going to risk it all on it. Oh really, he got double barrels! <laughs> yeah, what a spears. We diddled. Still, you know, we've got all our... Still got my party and it means I've got all my gear back again. So, you know, like a lot of these things, you want to kind of grind the low-level stuff and then work you out. So then we'll conclude our dealings here, gang. 3D RPG. Cheap and cheerful. I mean, you still want something like Morrowind or that if you... Or Skyrim if you want a bigger ep epic on the... RPG front, but there's a bit of light humour here, it's, it's easy going on the eye and the ear, and it's, it's certainly not taxing, that, that's for sure. It's, it is an RPG that you'd sort of play in between, just sort of wasting time. I mean, sometimes it's fun just to see what random events happen as you're wandering around, but, you know, it's, it's, there's nothing overly deep either, so it's not probably going to, it's not the sort of thing that's going to grip you and you can end up throwing hundreds of hours into it. I think that's a pretty fair assessment. So anyway, gang, thanks for taking the time to watch the video. Hopefully you found it useful and entertaining in some way. As ever, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to let me know you're alive. We'll see you all next time. Bye for now.